everybody, we're going to continue uh, looking at the Electric Gypsy tune. And when the first verse comes up, I play the melody with some tapped harmonics. So let's get into that technique. Okay, so as we look at the technique involved in this melody, um, in this first verse, I, essentially all you need to know is that I'm, I'm slapping the string exactly 12 frets above whatever I'm fretting. So that first, that first note, I'm, I'm thinking around the chord shapes as well. So it's, it's the note A, so I'm, I'm fretting the seventh fret, so then 12 frets above that. So one, one cool thing to do, one easy exercise is just to, 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 you know, play a chord. And that's probably where I learned it is Eddie Van Halen when he played a... What is that, Woman in Love off of Van Halen 2. So that, that basic idea I'm sure I must have gotten from Eddie, though it may have been done before him, but that's where I learned it. So it's a, uh, and it's just, it's a cool way to bring out a melody. I could have played, you know, I could have, but I just decided. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to, you know, coordinating the hands. See, and I'm not, not, I'm not like tapping like in, in the, in the sense of, you know, fretting the note, that, uh, that, that type of playing, but I'm just slapping the note. And it's the same effect as if you would have played an open harmonic, right? But I'm fretting the note here, and but there's, a lot of, there's a lot of median going on, so, it, so there's not a lot of extraneous noise. So when I'm fretting this note, if you watch what's happening with my left hand, every available piece of flesh essentially is is laying on top of the other strings to keep them clean so all we're hearing is the underside the underside of my ring finger is 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 flattened or, or at least laying lightly on on top of these strings I've got my thumb wrapping over to kind of take care of the E and the A string right so it's just all all fingers on deck so to speak to try, just to to make sure that this note is, is as pure as possible all right So you might want to, you know, again, like I said, do a chord form. Or you can even just play scales. But it's a, it's a really beautiful way to, to bring out that melody. So let's carry on and go through the actual uh, melody of the section. So like the main riff of the song, these, these notes that I'm choosing in this melody very much uh, are to do with the key of D major, because certainly this key is, is solidly in that key, but it has a lot more to do with the, the chord tones, the chord that's happening at the, at the time. So this first melody is in when the, the D chord would be sounding. But that next note is when the A chord is sounding, and it's that third, you know, in the little pentatonic. So I'm, I'm sometimes I'll, 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 you know, I'll, I'll tap every note, but sometimes I might tap a note and hammer. So this F sharp that happens on the A string, I'm never actually picking or, or uh, you know, attacking in any way. It's just hammering on. And there too. So 
it's almost like they're ghost notes. They're just, I'm, I'm giving an articulation and the hammering is kind of a subtle um, way of getting to the next note. Uh, that's nice. And that, that note D that I'm landing on there on the A string is over the B minor. That's the third, right? Are you catching the pattern? You see, you see this? See this pattern that's happening? It's all, it's weaving around the thirds of each chord. There again, so that, that D is over the B minor. And then, another one of those hammer. I end up on B, and that's the third of G. So, uh, you know. Resolve back down to D major by playing the the, the five and the and the root. Then a real low F sharp with a little. Uh, oh, I better get back on camera there. <laughs> so I'm I'm tapping that F sharp note, you know, up this up the 14th fret, and that's the third of D major. Another voice leading to the third of A major. Then a bit of a blues. Uh, then I, then I. This is right up the major pentatonic. But you're using that hammer again. Then I'm bending up to the, the to the F sharp. And there's a bit of detail there with you know getting right to the pitch of the F sharp. Another rearticulation. So getting up to the, the G, and that little, yeah, let's put it um. All right, so I hope you're digging that uh, tapped harmonic technique. It's a beautiful way to bring out those melodies, and, uh, and put, it doesn't have to be a whole section. You can just kind of put it in occasionally whenever you want to just give a note you know, something special. So dig in on that and uh, good luck.